Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to model a water bottle lid shown here. Let me ask a question, how would you model this? Any thoughts? I will show my approach. Since this fit into a full cylinder, I will start with carving out material to form this shape. So let's get going. And if you have other approaches, please add them to the comments. Okay, so let's start creating the model. We're going to start creating a workspace. Now, uh, I'm going to go to the part design workbench for this uh, creation of this model. And the uh, there's good reason why, and it will be apparent to you once I start working through the model, why I use the part design workbench. So we have, uh, currently we have a, a workspace with no name. So let me change the name to say bottle cap. And now uh, first thing we'll do is we'll start with a sketch. Uh, so I'm going to, I can pick any of the planes. So, but I'm going to pick the XY plane here. Now um, I'm going to use the origin here and create a circle. I can give any, you know, I can drag it out to any size. Now I escape out. Now I need to constrain it. So I'm going to go to constraints uh, and create a constraint here. Now this is, uh, I think I want to make it like 42 mils. Now um, this is already fully constrained. Now, uh, how do I know that? Because it appears green. Now I have several tutorials on constraining. Uh, in the sketcher, you can go and watch those videos. I'm not going to go into too much details on uh, constraining a sketch, but this is a very simple sketch. So once you put the uh, diameter or the radius here, it got automatically constrained. Okay, and I have auto constraints on and then also have auto re remove the redundance. If there's any uh, unnecessary constraint, it will get removed. So let's close this guy. Now I have this circle. Now I want to create a cylinder because that's why we start this model with a cylinder. So I'm going to use this pad button to create that. So let's see. Okay, so we got um, by default, we got 10 mils. I think I need more than that. So I'm going to make it like 75 mils. Uh, and these options you can leave as it is. Now, this one is already checked in because we are padding uh, normal to that um, this circle we created earlier. That's why it is showing as, uh, as already uh, by default it's checked in. Now, we can also uh, have it symmetric to the plane that means what will happen is if I use this one it will be half of this 75 mils go up and half of this 75 mils which is 37.5 will go down so that's what it will do but I don't need to do that reverse this in the opposite direction uh, we can also do that but uh, I, I think you can try those things out uh, but I'm not going to, you know, uh, do all that. So I'm just going to escape out. And now we have a, a pad. So I can rename it if I need to do that. So I'll, I'll probably rename it. So let's say, uh, take it. Okay, say I could say cylinder. Okay, so the next step is to create a, another sketch going across this part. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to click on the body 
and make sure that I select that and then I'm going to click on the sketch again now this time around I want to pick a plane going across this uh, cylinder you can pick XZ or uh, XYZ either plane should be fine uh, so I'm going to let's say I'm going to pick the XZ plane because that uh, that will give me the desired direction I want but you can select the other one as well now this one as it is um, if I rotate this guy a little bit uh, you can see that it's still a 3d uh, model within the sketcher plane okay so uh, I want to see through this uh, so I want to section it so I'm going to section it now what happens is it's sectioned okay so you can see that it's sectioned so you can have a better visualization when you draw on this one so now what i want to do is to create the, my second sketch so i'm going to start with this polyline okay so the convenience of polyline is because you can create multiple lines one shot it's very efficient okay so i'm going to start here draw straight now i can use uh, now you can you know you can continue to draw but i'm going to use m key uh, and a couple of times because now it's perpendicular i don't want that i don't want that i want an arc so i'm going to create this arc now i want a little bit of a straight line here and now i have straight line going again i want to create another arc uh, not that uh, I want to go another M not that go another M now I have another arc created okay now I have this line now we can fix this later let's draw this guy uh, and then go uh, uh, okay so one shot I have uh, uh, some geometry we'll have to work on it so escape out now okay i'm gonna escape it out so now we have this geometry so good thing is since it is not constrained you can move around move things around a little bit make it a little bit prettier or the way you want it okay so okay maybe that's good enough so let's start constraining this now so i already had auto constrain on uh this one so that's why this already this uh constraints were added the vertical and horizontal constraints were added so uh, i'm going to put some dimensions around this okay so let's put this guy to let's say 46 this vertical to be 60 and let's okay make this one let's make it a little bit smaller let's say 28 and this guy uh, i can't use this dimensioning for this line now so i'm going to use this guy let's say 42 now uh so these radii let's uh fix them okay maybe i put this dimensions also okay it's six too much i'm gonna make it nine uh now i have these two radii left so let's put some dimensions to this guy it's too much make it six and this guy make it 18. <laughs> okay so you got something uh, now i need to move the whole thing now this this sketch is um, halfway constrained so you have two degrees of freedom left and that's because you can move around but you can't change any geometry so what i can do is i can put a constraint here with respect to the origin uh, for both vertically and horizontally and it'll get constrained okay so uh let's put those two let's put the verticals constraint first 
Okay, what happened there? Let's, okay, maybe I did not pick them correctly. Okay, let's make it 17. And, uh, and then the horizontal constraint. Okay, 60 would be good. Okay, so you got a sketch that you fully constrained. Now, I want this sketch, at least uh, some portion of the sketch outside, and you will understand why I have this is outside, uh, in, encompassing this region, okay? Uh, we'll get to that. So I'm going to close out the sketch. Okay, so let's rename this. So I'm going to press F. Two, and I can give like sketch a name as section one. Now, I want to create another sketch right opposite the symmetric direction, the same sketch. Okay, because we want to cut both sides, right? So symmetricity is important. So let's see a couple of options where we can do this. Okay. Now I can see that I have this geometry on this side i want to create the same on this side so maybe let's try with the, picking all the geometry here and picking this line and using the uh, symmetric option uh, now i have talked about this in my uh, one of my prior tutorials you can go and watch that i have i will put the link there in the description uh, it's it's the tutorial where i'm going uh, in depth about the sketcher so let's do that now yeah it did create the exact geometry but it left few things out right you can see some dimensions are left out so therefore this is unconstrained geometry even though it's the same exact copy it's unconstrained okay and i don't want that because i don't want to spend time constraining again of course it is not that difficult to do that but i don't want to do that so i'm going to undo that and see whether there is any other options available maybe let's see if i can copy things or clone and copy uh no that didn't work it's essentially copy this and moved it here which doesn't work for me so these options are not going to work for me here so there's one more option we can do carbon copy and i have a separate complete separate video about talking about the carbon copy but let's use this option here so in order to do that let's escape out here or close out here i need to create another sketch here a dummy sketch so uh, i'm going to pick this cylinder make sure you pick this cylinder and create this dummies uh, sketch and it should be the same plane okay uh, so pick that one now i have this guy here now of course this sketch is not active because the i have even though it is visible it is not in this sketch or the new sketch i'm creating okay it's just visible here but when i go to the carbon copy option you can see that it is now i can pick on it Okay, I can't draw anything, but I can pick on it. So I'm going to pick on this, and voila, what happened? All these, uh, the dimensions as well as the geometry got copied into this new uh, the sketch that I created. Okay, now how do I know that that's correct? I escape out, I close out. Now, if I say, okay, maybe I'll just rename this guy say section two now how do i know that there is another copy here so if i press the space bar this got got inactive or it's got hidden now i have, still have this guy here okay so if i click here space bar both are gone now if i click here it's a one app here so you you know that there is a another uh, section or sketch created now okay make it active and i can go and see it so you can see that it is fully constrained it have all the dimensions but let's see if i can make any changes i can't okay i can't give any numbers it is not 
you can't change it and the reason why is it is an exact carbon copy of the previous sketch and it is linked means only if i change the other dimensions that i can change it here so if i go here click uh, let's make this guy active and it is uh, now here if i want let's say 46 47 i make that yeah it changed to 47 now if i go back and look at this you can see it is changed 47 so it's linked but uh, it is i can't change it from here from this section okay now that's good because that's what i want right i want that to be uh, basically uh, linked to one sketch because we are essentially creating a, a sketch that is uh, uh, connected to the uh, other one which I, and it's in symmetry right so you want that so that's good all looks good but only bad part of it is this guy lies on the same side i want it on the other side so let's do a few more things here let's go to the attachment editor yeah and then i say i flip yeah i flipped it okay now i got it on the right side of where i want it now all this about this menu uh, it's talk about the attachments on datum planes uh, and the uh, datum lines all that stuff now i have a separate tutorial i'm going to put that uh, link in the description you can go and watch that you can get a in-depth understanding of this uh, what this means in that tutorial for now you just you know accept as it is and you can go back and look at that tutorial okay so i got what i want i'm going to close it out so we've got two sections both on the uh, opposite side and they are symmetric so our next step is to remove some material from this cylinder using these two sketches okay now <clears throat> there are a number of ways you can do it so one thing is okay if you want you can create a body with these two and then use some boolean operations uh, but i don't want to do that there are easier option here we can do i'm going to use this slot and see whether that would work okay so the slot operation is and as i can see i can draw you here this is the one that i'm going to use and this will be very useful uh, in situations like this okay so let me clean that one up a little bit now let's try using that okay now i'm going to click on the first section use go to slot and now it yeah it removes something but it's not enough so i'm going to say maybe 80 mils I, I want to get it completely removed so that's why i include a larger section and i want it to be symmetric it, because it is on the center it has to go this side it has to go this side so i'm going to okay i just screw it up so let's go back let's do this again 80 and symmetric okay so you got that out of the way now you can see that yeah it is that portion is removed now i uh, want to do the same thing on the other side okay pick this section go to slot now we we do the same thing again Now you got something like a bottle cap uh, as you know, as the model is you know progressing along. Okay, let's recap on what we have done so far. So we started with the cylinder. We generated two sketches on uh, like a symmetric sketches around the uh, Y Z plane or using the X Z plane and slot them through remove material so we got one more sketch to do which is 
actually should lie on the uh, YZ plane here. So basically, uh, this plane. And once you create that sketch, and then you can kind of a slot through this to create that uh, final uh, geometric uh, for the uh, bottle cap. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to spend time on creating the sketch. I already have the sketch. I bought this one in. So what I do is I can show you where, what that is. So this sketch is here and it is created right on the YZ plane. Uh, all we have to do is to go and slot it through. Okay. So I just switch off the origin, pick this sketch, slot, and it will have the same effect as what we have done in the previously. So we just say it emails symmetric and it's slot through this. Okay. So this concludes our tutorial. I mean, of course, you can use the, you know, you can put the fillets here and make it, uh, you know, look uh, professional work, but I'm not going to spend time doing that. So um, you you know, I will put another tutorial on how to create that sketch separately. You can go and watch that. So um, now uh, this concludes this tutorial uh, and I will be putting more tutorials out there. Uh, so come and watch them in this CADSYS uh, tutorial series uh, using the free CAD. Okay, thank you.